this is a really big deal that um, Kamala Harris is going to be our new vice president. My mother, who raised me and my sister, was a proud woman. She was a brown woman. She was a woman with a heavy accent. She was a woman who many times people would overlook her or not take her seriously. Now every time my mother proved them wrong. And because of who my mother was is why within one generation I stand here as a serious candidate for president of the United States. I'm Alexa and Stewart. Hello, my name is Purnima Gadam and I live in Palo Alto, California. Hi, I'm Archana Sagal and this is my daughter. Mila. And we are calling in from Los Angeles, California. Hello, I am Sidia Rodney Summersall from Atlanta, Georgia, originally from the island of Jamaica. We live in a democracy and in democracy representation really matters and that our elected officials should really reflect the experiences and the lives and the perspectives of all people um, including um, including South Asians that's what we are I was really proud that a woman born to a parent from my homeland of Jamaica would hold the second highest office in the United States of America Kamala truly embodies the American dream that hard work and education can open many doors and lead to countless opportunities. In Jamaica, the term we lickle but we tallow means we're a small nation, but we're strong-minded, we determine, and we refuse to be restrained by the boundaries of our small island. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris has demonstrated all these qualities. Could have never even conceived of a world in which a woman named Kamala Devi would be the vice president. And now, my son and daughter will grow up knowing that their heritage is woven inextricably into the history of our country. Similarly to Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, my 18-month-old daughter, Zyra Ware, was born in Orlando, Florida. By immigrant parents, we understand very well that we are raising our daughter with all the aspirations to be the best she can be with no limitations and we plan to grow her as a proud, black and confident young lady. My daughter Myla has aspirations to become an attorney. It is vitally important for her and for little girls and young ladies to see women in positions of influence. Representation matters, and that visual of a woman with similar features is an indicator to children of color that their aspirations can be achieved. Seeing Kamala Harris enter spaces previously unexplored by the black community highlight that the window of opportunity for women of color is open and that anything is possible. Continue being true to yourself. Always do the right thing regardless of what people might say or think. Remember that family is important and doesn't matter where you start, with hard work, the sky is the limit. Also the advice is to ignore the haters, right? Ignore the bullies and the haters that aren't really interested in making good for the world. First remind her of how much she's loved and how absolutely proud we are of her. Kamala, you have represented the family very well, and we expect you will continue to do the same. The lessons that we have taught you so far has served you very well, and so when those naysayers come around, no part of them don't mind me, dear. I would remind her of the lesson that I tell my kids from time to time, to whom much is given, much is expected. And Kamala, I am certain that that glass ceiling you just shattered, you will allow that opening 
to remain for others to come along behind you and that you'll be a guide to pull them along with you too. Finally, I would tell her that a long hot shower and a piece of chocolate will always make her feel better when life becomes overwhelming.